Okay, so I am um, the lieutenant over the special events unit, and so we organize traffic and safety for all the different events in, that come to Oklahoma City. Tell me specifically kind of what goes into putting together a memorial marathon. Oh, that's a lot of manpower hours. So you know, we started working on it back in January, and um, you know we'll have meetings. We meet with the memorial, find out if they have any special requests for this year. Then we'll also meet with the different agencies. You know, it goes through Nichols Hills, o OUPD's area, the village. We'll meet with fire, with IMSA. Um, public works. It takes a lot of personnel to actually put the marathon on. So last year uh, was our first year for taking over the marathon. Um, we learned that, well, one, it takes a lot of personnel. And uh, two, we learned that, you know, certain officers are on intersections for long periods of time. So last year what we did is divided the route up into four different geographical areas and we put a supervisor over each of the areas to kind of keep track of the officers, how long they're stuck in an intersection and to offer breaks for them. And that was probably one of the biggest things that helped um, last year. What do you mostly focus on during, during a, a race day that safety wise? Well, there's a lot of things that, that aren't seen. We have overwatch that a lot of people wouldn't know. Uh, we have plainclothes officers in the crowds and then we have the uniformed officers because the biggest deterrent is always the uniformed officers. And, sorry, uniformed officer. So we'll try to uh, be as, uh, as vigilant as possible looking for different things that, you know, others, they're just there to have a good time. We're there to make sure everybody's safe. Uh, have you talked with the Boston police uh, about? We actually went to some training um, back in December and we were able to meet with uh, different agencies, people who put on events around the United States. And so we were able to talk to them about how they do things. Um, as it turns out, we're all pretty similar in what we do. And But there were definitely some things that we picked up from them that we uh, implemented into ours as well. Oh, I think about it a lot. I mean, this is our city's marathon. There's not another marathon in our city. And the meaning that it has, the, the bombing, it was... Um, it really brought our city together and it showed the world what a city looks like that does come together. And so, you know, with working with the different agencies, like I said, it's, it takes a lot of people working together to pull this thing off and that just can't be understated. Um, I was actually attending college at UCO when the bombing occurred. And so I felt the effect of the bombing even in Edmond. Uh, didn't know at the time what it was until later, and then I was waiting tables. I saw the different officers and uh, firemen coming in who had been working long hours, and I knew that that's actually what I wanted to do. I wanted to help also. And you were in the first class? Uh, I was in the first class after the bombing. What was the atmosphere like around the, the whole force around then? Um, you know, it was two years later, so it wasn't... Uh, I mean, it was a thought. We knew that there hadn't been a class in several years, so it was a great feeling of accomplishment because there were a lot of people that applied to be a police officer. And so it, it was definitely an accomplishment knowing that I was one chosen to become the next group of officers.